neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 29-yard line. The Panthers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't load him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Got it and brought down immediately. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's tackled at the 42. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's pushed out of bounds around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, first down. This one's going deep to the end zone. And he scores. Touchdown. the PAT. A six-play, 71-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. Oh, excellent punt. Not a great return there. Boy, he got a hold of that ball. This punter has a big-time leg, and you can see that when he gets a hold of a ball like that. Really goes. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. They'll bring him down at the 23. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. That brings up second and nine. 
Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. That's a great job by both the quarterback and the receiver. The quarterback made a great read and throw, and the receiver split the zone coverage with a beautiful post route. Well done. of two by the halfback. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Roger, Roger! Mike, four. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's tackled at the 49. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. run and he's brought down that makes it second and six play of the drive. Setting up the play action. There he goes. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. Inside the 10, brought down at the one. So his fifth run of the drive goes for another first down. This offense is running the ball very effectively on this drive. And this is the 10th play of the drive. to the end zone and it's caught touchdown these guys don't get tense down by the end zone sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands but not with this group he makes the PAT like they're ready for the kick and he got all of this one great kick this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback they need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit they could easily fall out of the game to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, second down. We're through one quarter. The Panthers lead it by two touchdowns. And 
and we're back for more action here in quarter number two. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. It's third and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Fourth down, I'm coming as they go three and out. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 36-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. And he tackles him hard. 49-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Give to the tailback. Tackle made at about the 49. tailback on the screen. That's a great tackle at the 45-yard line. Number 97. 45-yard line. Third down. From the 45-yard line. It's third down. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. He's taken down at about the 31. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 31 yard line, second down. Line. The Panthers lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Hit on the throw. He caught it. He gets hit out of bounds around the 17-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. Pick up. The Panthers taking their first time out of the half. It's the ninth play of the drive. He's tackled at the five yard line. That was a six yard action, and we'll have first and ten coming up. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. And he's in there. Touchdown. He 
He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He's got it out to his tight end. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And he's hit immediately. Chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From their own 42 yard line. First down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. first down gain of six on the pass and that's good for a first down short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense when you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play the offense calls a timeout it's second and 11 all on the 48 yard line defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set and he comes in with his dime package Quick out to his receiver. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down around the 29 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Fires complete over the middle, and he's tackled at the 16-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. play of the drive. They come out in a five wide set. Catches it and gets out of bounds. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but you know, they're converting when they have to. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They make the stop at about the three-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. Here's play number 14 of this drive. It's up, and he's got it. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Nice run there. We've played a half. The Panthers lead 21-3.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen that's going to do it at halftime just about ready to start the second half all right you finish it up brother. i'm looking at some of the cafeteria i'm hungry but wait, wait don't leave until you get my order brad kirk take the second half all right reese and david back to welcome back everybody just about set to start the second half sends it sailing downfield this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Caught, open field, knocked out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Taken down in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. Taking the field again now is the offense. And i got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. Tight end right. Tight end right. Two down, two down. Mike four, Mike four. He scrambles. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. From their own 48-yard line. It's second down. Level at the 42. That makes it first and ten. Fires out to his receiver. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. From the 37 yard line, second down. And he 
makes it out to about the 34-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Makes it to the 24. And this play is number eight on the drive. Again with a carry. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll make it seven and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. My four, my four. Fires out to his wideout. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. Second down and goal. Ten yards to the end. Nice play across the middle. And he's tackled right away. Number seven makes the tackle at the two-yard line. That makes his third and goal. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And down he goes, just outside the line. The halfback picks up a yard. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one-yard line. Side. Tackle made at the one yard line. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this. And he carries the ball for a nice game. down and as they come up to the line they're going to be in the shadow of their own goal post the gains his way to the 13 yard line that's three down and one to go the Panthers with an 18 point cushion back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the eight. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. That's a good-looking throw and catch. Obviously, the defense is going to have to give them some room, but they're not going to give up the big play. their own 36-yard line. 
First down. Got a receiver and he dropped it. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Strike to the receiver. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he is drilled at the 45-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. He goes out of bounds at the 43. From the 43 yard line, second down. throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Tenth play of the drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He wants it all. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break. Play. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. In the open. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. From the 42 yard line, it's first down. Less than three minutes in the game. down after a nice run up the middle. They go with a run. He brought down in the backfield. down and they need to get it down to the 32. him hard at the 47. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like after this one.
got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We have less than a minute to go. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he brings it down. He's tackled right around midfield. That was a nice catch. He went up, leaving his body susceptible to the hit, but he came down with it and got a first down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five receivers. And he snags that one. They'll bring him down at the 38. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. From the 38-yard line, first down, five wide. Throws it in a hurry, and they push him out at about the 31. From the 24-yard line, first down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 21-yard line. down to the tight end and he can't hang on that looked like the same play they just called yeah it was the defense was ready for it this time it's third seven to go all on the 21 and they make the stop at about the 11. Number nine of this current drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Fires quickly and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. 